Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you the first five things you should change right away on your S10, S10e, or S10 Plus. So the first thing is dark mode. So let's go to settings, then we're going to go to display, and we're going to enable night mode. So they call it night mode, it's basically dark mode, and this carries through to a bunch of different apps, such as your phone, with the dialer or anything that's sort of a default system app, things like Twitter, you'll have to turn that on individually. Now, the next thing is also under display and under display, we have the option to go to our home screen. So we'll go to home screen. And then what we want to turn on is rotate to landscape mode and rotate to landscape mode allows us to go home and have the home screen in landscape. So you can use this just like you would uh, when it's in portrait mode, but now it's in landscape also. That's off by default and it's really simple to change and works just like you'd expect. Now the next thing has to do with navigation. You'll see here I've put the back button on the left where I think it belongs and you've got the app switcher here. Now you can keep it however you'd like, but you can also use gestures. So if you go to settings, then you go to display, then scroll down to navigation bar and under navigation bar, we can change those buttons back and forth, or we can use gestures. So if we go to gestures, we can leave hints on, we'll just swipe up and we go home. If we swipe up and hold, we've got the Google assistant swipe up on the right. We've got our task manager or applications or multitasker, and this is back. So you swipe up on the left to go back. If you don't like it, you can just change it back. But for a lot of people, I think they'll like it. If not, you can go back to whatever button arrangement you'd like. Now, the fourth thing has to do with the display and the way it looks. Now I have it set to natural, but if we go to settings and then we go to display and then we go to screen mode, we can switch between vivid and natural and under vivid, we can adjust the color temperature to cool or warm. We also have advanced settings here for each one of the color spectrum. We want it to look like, so if we go back to natural, I prefer natural. It looks natural and color accurate, but if you like things more vivid and to pop, uh, this definitely does that. So it's an easy way to adjust your screen to whatever you'd like. And one of the things you definitely should change right away, unless you really like it is the Bixby button. So if I click on it once, you'll see it says, hi, Aaron, what would you like to do today? And I can change this now in order to change this, you need to update it first. So tap on the three dots, go to settings, then scroll down, go to about Bixby voice, and it will check here. If you have an update, make sure you're updated to the latest version so that you can do this. Now go back. And again, you'll just click the button once, tap the three dots, go to settings, and then here you'll want to go down to the Bixby key settings. Now you'll see it says single press to open Bixby, use double press, use double press to open Bixby. So I want a single press to open my app. So I'll tap on double press to open Bixby, use a single press. And now we can either run a quick command or open an app. Now a quick command is very similar to Siri shortcuts. So if you go in here, go to quick command settings and you'll see you have different things like I'm driving, I'm going out live translate. They'll just come up and you've got different commands you can create. So it's really nice there, or you can tell it to open an app. Now it will not open the Google assistant, but if you install the Google app, you can do it that way. So we'll scroll down here. Let's find Google. And now if I press it once, it will open Google. If I double press it, it opens Bixby. So if I press it once, you'll see it opens. If I double tap here, let's tap on the G here. And if I double tap it, it will open Bixby. So you can't disable Bixby entirely, but you can change this to kind of be what you'd want to search and do whatever you'd like. So it's kind of convenient that way. Now, one final thing, while this is the top five, there is an extra bonus here. If you're using a screen protector, just like the factory installed one, or even an aftermarket one, you may want to change some settings. So what you want to do is go to your settings, go to display, and then go down to touch sensitivity. And you'll see here, it says increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. So if you're using a screen protector, you're having some problems, turn that on. It probably will help. That's it for the five things. Plus a little bonus that you should change right away for your new device. If you found anything else that maybe I should share with other people, let me know in the comments below just to help some people out. 
Also, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If not, the other one's okay too. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.